On February 26th, young Trayvon Martin was in Sanford, Florida with his father, hundreds of miles away from his Miami, Florida home. On that night, Trayvon was leaving a convenience store like this one, with snacks, and was walking back to his gated community, not dissimilar from the one seen in this video. Unfortunately, Trayvon did not return home, killed because of what appears to be a stereotype. I spoke to two young African Americans about the effects that stereotypes and racism has had on them. It means something to me when somebody that you can identify with is killed in such a brutal way. It also means something to me because I went to school in a southern state in a state that has traditionally been considered racist, and I've been stopped on multiple occasions, um, really for driving a car that looked too ethnic, or because I was going through an area where black people weren't really known to be driving in or living in. Situations like this happen, and it's not surprising because as a female, as an African-American female, you're subjected to uh, certain remarks, you're treated differently, and as an African-American male, it's even harder to get jobs, and different situations are influenced just because of how you look, what you wear, what you uh, do, and how you speak. Somebody to be killed because of a hoodie, like the one I'm wearing now, or uh, because it's nighttime, uh, their pants aren't super tight or anything like that. It, it's a really bad feeling and it really reflects poorly on our society. We must work to end the stereotypes of all people. It could save a life.